Now some further work on perimeter. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to find the perimeter for each of the following. Our first diagram there, it's not a regular shape, all right? It, you can see that it looks like an L shape there. Now, as before, we need to fill in the missing lengths. Now, that length there, down the bottom there, have a good look around the diagram. Can you see what that would be? Well, if you think about it, it's seven meters across that far, and then another three meters to go right across the shape. So altogether, three and seven would make 10 meters. So have a think about that, 10 meters right across that shape. Now there's one more missing length we need to fill in, that distance there. Well, if we consider the whole height of the shape is 12 meters, and part of the height there is eight meters. So we need to think eight plus something would make the 12, and that would have to be four meters. Eight plus four meters makes up that 12 meters. So we've filled in the missing lengths. Let's therefore write that the perimeter equals, let's just write them down in pairs, three and four, three plus four, and we'll cross them out as we've done them, so we remember that we've actually counted them. Our next pair, seven and eight, so we add seven and eight, cross those off, and our remaining pair, 12 and 10. So 10 and 12 there, let's mark that in. So we'll cross them out. Now we've added them all up, and we work that out, we get 44 meters. Terrific. Our second example here, again there's some missing lengths, so the first thing we do is fill in those missing lengths. Now that distance there, having a good look around the diagram, matches up with the 12 meters there, so we write in 12 meters for that length. Now this length is marked the same as that length, so if two lengths are marked the same, that means they are the same. So let's mark in the six meters. This distance here, you can see, is the same as the five meters. We'll write that in. Have we done all the missing lengths yet? I hope you said no. There's one more to go. There it is. That distance there, the height. Well, the full height of the shape is 20 meters. And we've got six meters there and six meters there. So six and six so far is 12. We need to add something to make the 20. So 12 and 8, 12 and 8 will make up that full height 20. So look around the diagram, yes, all the sides are filled in now. So therefore perimeter equals, and again we'll mark them down in pairs, 12 plus 6, cross them off. Next pair, 5 plus 8, cross those off. Our next pair, 5 and 6, let's add those, cross them off. And finally, 12 plus 20 cross those off. And if we calculate that, we end up getting 74 meters.